cousin Samuel and I were just talking about it and realized that it'd be really cool if we both just went somewhere and just went camping. Just straight up, ditched everything, and just went out into the wild. Would have been an awesome idea. So we ended up just getting a tent, setting it up, and here we are now. It was late last night. I think it was around, I think it was actually around like one o'clock before we finally was able to um, get to bed, but now we're out here living the dream, sleeping in a tent. I actually have the camera on his bed right now. That's where he slept. That's where I slept. And this is my stuff. I actually think he might have gone out to get breakfast ready, so let me show you where we're at. Just kidding. We slept in his backyard last night. The Jeep's in the front yard, and uh, they were like, we can put a tent back here. And so me and my cousins just slept outside. Silas didn't want to come with us, because he's a little wimp. Doesn't like sleeping in the outdoors. Not outdoorsman doesn't like living the dream. This was pretty fun last night. We made a fire. I got to try that, um, what's it called? Coffee, curdle. Popple. I don't know. It's it's a coffee where you put it the grounds on top and it like boils and it Does the popping thing, but I can't remember what it's called But I got to try that it was actually pretty good um, I thought about buying them before but I've heard bad things about it. So I never did it wasn't bad though I might have to buy one of those back from collecting firewood in your backyard to get out backyard breakfast ready <laughs> I didn't collect any firewood. You didn't collect firewood. It's, it's right over there <laughs> Could have just gone and grab <laughs> it. And baton that. The pocket knife. You know what's really crazy is that I've beat this thing in every single direction. I got it here, all the way down to here, it's split up here, um, all the way down here. I still haven't gotten it apart. This thing is a beast. Should have heard of SA Knife sooner. Still got a good edge on it. This knife, it's still sharp. Just shave. Look at that, the hairs came off. What do you guys think of the new coffee maker setup? Even though it's kind of big to be carrying around this whole thing, it's a little bit more convenient because I personally drink coffee a lot. Most people maybe drink coffee every once in a while or only in the morning. Um, but I will drink a lot of coffee and it's very important to me that I have coffee. It's very, very important to me. What if I just carried a coffee maker? The only problem I had with that is coffee makers usually have these glass pots that break really easily, especially on this one. I actually had one when I was in the camper and when I had that, I was cleaning the pot and it just broke. So I didn't want to risk that happening while I was in the Jeep too. I'm able to find a place to cram this together and I have enough electricity that I'm able to power it and make coffee in the morning, especially when I'm out camping and stuff. It's a lot more convenient because it's a lot easier to make it. I, have, I don't have to use as much stuff and I can still make a whole pot. But there's always the factor of it being very breakable. So, metal tin thermal pot. And this is super convenient for multiple reasons. It'll keep the coffee warmer longer, especially on colder days. But on top of that, it's metal so it doesn't break. The only issue with this is that it's an eight cup coffee maker as opposed to the glass one, which is a 12 cup coffee maker, but that also means that the pot's a lot smaller, so it wasn't technically going to work with this machine. Lucky for me, 
I'm a little bit innovative. I'm really good at fixing problems. So I was actually able to rig the coffee machine to work. And this is only a $20 coffee machine. So instead of spending $75 on a big premium thermal coffee maker, I'm using a $20 coffee maker that I can buy at Walmart for 20 bucks. And I get a thermal pot. All I really had to do was take the little spring thing that's usually right here that prevents coffee from coming out unless the pot's inside and take that thing out. That way it'll just, it's got a little bit of gap here about a finger space, but it'll drip directly into the pot and it'll just brew just fine. And the only con to this is that it will still drip coffee straight through if the pot isn't here. So I have to make sure it's done brewing before I take it out. But I'm a firm believer in waiting till it's done brewing anyway. So it doesn't really bother me that I have to wait the whole time. Some people are just really desperate to get that first drop of coffee out and let the rest brew later. I'm okay with this.